Local conservationists will play a role in protecting Fraser Island dingoes if the LNP wins the next election. The Shadow Environment Minister promising to immediately order an independent review of the island's controversial dingo management strategy. Conservationists have been fighting for a review for the past two years. Under an LNP government, finally they'll get their way. Be able to destroy uh, between 5, 10 or even 15 in some past years that have gone by isn't much of a straddled heritage area. You need to be engaging with the locals, you need to be engaging with the Indigenous and traditional owners. Dingo advocates are already one step ahead. We actually have started uh, a peer review with some scientists from New South Wales and Victoria and we're really looking forward to sharing the results with the LNP. But it will take time. We're asking the amount of food that's on the island, what the prey is and all that. They still don't know the numbers that are on the island. The Shadow Minister believes human interaction has stirred up plenty of contention. Several attacks on tourists seeing many dogs killed by rangers. But for the LNP, capping tourist numbers isn't an option. We understand that people will need to take precautions, but we want them to know and, and fully appreciate that the dingo is there, that it is the iconic species on the island, and uh, it's part of the enjoyment experience. The Harvey Bay MP maintains the dingoes are starving. With a lot of the documentation from the early 90s right through to now, a lot of it contradicts one another. 17 dingoes have now been fitted with controversial tracking devices as part of the Environment Department's behavioural study. Karen Broadhurst, Wind News.